Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Jane Animations reaction. This one is called the weirdest dating simulators I could find. This could be this should be interesting. Go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Jaden. 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 I'm sorry. Um, go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Jaden Animations. Make sure like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And let's get it in three, two, one. Let's go. Ah, uh, dating. Not a fan. Uh, but, you know, dating <laughs> simulators can be the closest thing there is to dating without actually having to go out and do it for real. Which can seem much more appealing to people like me, mm -hmm. who do not like people. Believe it or not, dating sims are more popular than you think. Hey, Monica! Believe doki doki! Yeah, I guess that's fair. Oh. Either way, there's a seemingly endless <laughs> plethora of Video game characters. dating simulators out there. You can simulate dating anime girls, anime boys, evil anime girls, old rich chicken man, bubbles, uh... Birds! Uh, Anything you set your mind to, you can date. Virtually. I've never really played or wanted to play dating simulators. The closest thing I've come to developing any sort of connection with virtual beings is being best friends with Chief and Animal Crossing uh, oh. when I was 13. So I decided I want uh. to see what they're like. You know, surely there's a reason the genre has roughly 22 million consumers. Because there's mean, like... That's a few million short of the entire continent. Yeah, there's like Australia. no fish in the you sea. You love bugs. But I didn't go out looking to play the generic But guys, seriously, game. in life, there's many fish the limits of game developers' creativity and find dating sims that were conceptually Speed dating really for ghosts. There. First on the table is speed dating for ghosts. As you can guess, we are starting out by dating ghosts. So how it works is you choose a room to go into. You have a few minutes to chat with a ghost until a bell rings and another one sits down in front of you. There's three ghosts per room and once mm -hmm. you get the chance to chat with all of them, Alrighty. I'll do another circuit. You can continue your conversations and ultimately choose which one you want to go on a date with. I'm greeted by the speed dating receptionist, Fran, who says, we get all kinds of ghosts here. Nice one. Ones, sad ones, spooky ones. It gets lonely being a ghost. And I say, I like being alone. That's and fine. Goes, I've never met a ghost who doesn't need anyone. No one to talk to. It makes sense all this. I'm doing just fine, thanks. You don't even want to make a friend? Nope. nope. Jinx. And that led to Kinda. me leaving the speed dating for ghosts event. Well, okay, I guess I can't be myself in these yeah. rooms after all. So I lie, and I'm given the choice to enter one of three rooms. Oh, the room of palms, you actually, uh, the room of liars, and did. the room of black. Room of black. I just went into the room of palms. This huge buff jock ghost sits down in front of me, introduces himself as Riley, and proceeds to call me pretty hot for a ghost, to which I reply... Slow down there, buddy. And Riley yeah. immediately apologizes. No like, horny. Oh, I feel bad. But the I horny hammer instead of the horny bat. Yeah, I think I've been choosing nothing but all the wrong answers so far. Riley and I chat a bit. The bell rings and I meet this old smoking ghost who used to live in Vegas and was part of the Vegas Mafia until they burned her house down with her in it. The bell rings again and this giant bush ghost sits down. So this is Steph. She's anxious and introspective in a light and charming way. I'll be honest when I say I did really enjoy your conversations, but then you start to realize she doesn't realize she's dead and a, a ghost. And then the conversation turns more into just trying to hint towards letting her know she's not All right. alive anymore. I started learning Japanese, but there's thousands, there are thousands of kanji of characters to kanji. learn. Kanji. You've got an, an eternity to learn. If only I'll die before I learn the language. Dang, you're poor Bush. Dead. <laughs> yeah, you're right. In a way, we all are just waiting to die. We're all gonna die. You're dead. Our... You threatening me? No, you're seriously oh, dead. Friend. Steph finally catches She'll ban you. And then it gets super introspective. You know, I, I still feel alive. Just dissociated. Ouch. Ah. Uh, Whoa. Oh, that one was real out of nowhere. What wasted. I excite my own feelings to me like that. Time ran out and the event came to a close. Out of all the ghosts, I wasn't really drawn to any of them enough to want to go on a date. I like Steph, but she's got her own demons to face for a bit. So back to the three yeah. rooms I went. For round two, I chose... Room of Liars. First up liars. is a ghost that is apparently very scared of ghosts. When I was alive, I used to be so scared of ghosts. And turns out they were real this whole time? Mm. That one was 
you know, I feel like there was an overall ceiling going into it with how well that could have gone no matter what. So, you know. Then came Spooky Peter, and I was ecstatic. Looks oh like, uh, God, what is that, so doctor? Cool. He died from the bubonic plague, and now... He's the plague doctor, that's it. ...spooking people who are still alive. He, he's it, it's, he, he legend. does, I'm he looks like a plague doctor, friends. yeah. The living people have written books about him. I was getting spooking tips and learning about the mirror world when the... I mean, plague doctors are really spooky, let's be real. ...in front of me, and leads with... ...wanna make some money? Huh? Doesn't everyone? Exactly. We all do, yeah. Let's rob a bank. No. So I meet up with Leon at the place you told me. I was a little bummed I couldn't chat more with Spooky Peter, but when someone invites you to join them in robbing a bank, how can you say no? You put everything on hold. Cha-ching! We to go in and we're chatting with Leon's bank robbing buddy, Carlsbad, who is explaining Carlsbad. how at the bank we were about to rob so he can open the safe and knows where all the security cameras are pointed when... Speak the devil. <gasps> Spooky Peter! Leon recruited Spooky Peter to join the bank rob crew from the speed dating event as well. I'm nothing less than ecstatic, and my mental health yep. is at an all-time high. Which is the ideal circumstance That's good. for bank robbing. We get into the safe thanks to Carlsbad, and unfortunately there wasn't a, a huge pile of money like Leon was hoping. Like in the, you know, like in the cartoons and movies. But we were able to yeah. open a deposit box that had um, some lawyer documents in it. And a 14 karat gold vanity mirror set. I gave the mirror to Spooky Peter. That was about all the time we had before we had to scram out of there. And even though it wasn't a, a huge pile of money, I think it was a pretty successful bank. Oh, damn. We took something from the bank. Carlsbad so, what else just got arrested. I got to see Spooky Peter again. So, since I technically didn't go out on a date with anyone from the liar's room and robbed a bank instead, that leaves <clears throat> one room left the to black my room. spooky ghost partner. Everyone in the room of black was very nice. There was a punk rock skater kid just looking to have fun with a new friend, mm -hmm. a nice old pollen lady who makes jam for the living, and Gary. Gary! Hello? I'm gonna you know, my own eyes at you. Oh my god. Okay. okay. Oh, oh no. my god. No. <laughs> Smells Get so rest? foul. Musty Please. and sour like rotten peaches. The ghost uh, will cry. I'm so sorry. Low and lonely. The other ghosts oh in the room god, are looking at you. I learned Gary's a vengeful ghost who was murdered at his office job, but doesn't remember how, why, or who did it. So naturally, I go along with him to find his murderer and avenge his soul. Uh, turns out Gary was the murderee and stabbed his work partner and then was shot by the police. Oh. Mm. Well, he was very nice to me. Speed dating for ghosts. I made a lot of friends, but no virtual ghost could win my heart. So let's move on to yep. the Ratchelor. You know how the, the Ratchelor This is just that. In rat form. I've been told these violet eyes of mine are more purple than all the lavender in the world. And I certainly smell better, too. Oh, woo. You talk a oh, lot. Oh, Dear, I can't say that I recall you mentioning it. But how'd you say you scored on the SATs? I got a 1570, which is quite good, if you didn't know. Wow, you're so different. You wanted to hear more about my <laughs> Oh, work? my God. Yes, really? I host Saturday Night Live and also Wheel of Fortune and Dancing Wait, with Wait, SNL Wars. and... Ever seen Avengers? Wheel of Fortune? What the hell? The Avenger. Wow. Mm. Meep. Meep. Wow, you're so different. It's time to meet my children. <laughs> Reggie 997, Evangeline, Esquire Jr., Evangeline. Can. They already love you. Yuck. If you want my respect, you need to earn it. My whole life, I've had to make do by myself and work for what I've got. And every time I've needed help, people let me down. Yuck. Yuck. Honestly, as goodbye, as as I enjoy being here on the Ratchelor. I can't wait to get back home so I can keep teaching my baking class at the local youth center. The kids are so sweet. Next up, I'm teaching them all to bake cheesecake. I hope you can come with me. I could bake you a cheesecake. The kids would love you. You talk a lot. I am yeah. proposing to three salamanders dressed up as a rat. All right, what's next? Dating a dog? Sure, why not at this point? Wait, would you seriously? Like to see my collection of newts? No. You're dating a fucking pug. What What's the your fuck? Idea of starting Pokemon. I'm way more Digimon, to be honest. 
uh, would you like to hear a joke? I hate jokes. Pipe down and listen up. What do you call an alligator in a vest? Uh. An investigator. Bruh. <laughs> no. I never want to see you again. So I've tried dating ghosts, rats, dogs. What else is there at this point? Humans. You're right. Namco video game characters. When I found out this sim lets you date Namco characters, I immediately thought of Figar from Dig Dug. I... <laughs> I, I just think he's really cool. I don't think they'd put Figar in there, but Dig Dug is part of the cast, so I started getting my hopes up that I could get to know Dig Dug. So in the game, you play as a shy, awkward cousin from Katamari Damacy who attends Namco High. You end up being put in detention for rolling up desks, the entire marching band, cars, principal. Wow, wait, really? Wait, he's the principal? Wait, seriously? Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, that's that's not going to work. <laughs> so now I'm yeah. bummed and on the verge of quitting the game. What's the point in playing if neither Dig Dug or Figar are romantic interests? But in the cast of characters in the detention room I could talk to, one stuck out to me. Galaga ship. Gal and suddenly it's all worth it again. I go You're dating a Galaga, Galaga ship? ship? And naturally they're surrounded by all the popular characters. They're talking about the school play and how they all think Galaga ship is perfect to play Juliet. And thus began my plan to get into the school play to Romeo Juliet kiss Galaga ship. I have the option to talk to other Holy characters. Holy shit. And I just go, no, I really? sit here and do nothing until the end of detention. And that's exactly what I did. The next day was the little oh, was that pinky? festival to show off all like the, the Pac-Man ghost. Naturally, yeah. I went straight for the drama club and found Galaga ship manning the booth. I want to join. Auditions are in the auditorium. I want to be Romeo. Read your lines. Alas, that love. Wow. You. Romeo's understudy. Bam. Ep good enough. Now I have an excuse to practice lines with Galaga ship. Oh, that that's good. Galaga Gal Gal Galaga's pog. In every way, the story moves along. Galaga is an amazing Galaga game. To rehearse our lines, well, their lines, you know, understudy. Mm -hmm. But Principal Dig Dug finds us in the auditorium and thinks we're skipping class for some reason and gives us both double detention. So the obvious next step for me was to sneak onto Galaga Ship's property at night and discreetly start apologizing for getting them into double detention. But then their parents find us being secretive and suspicious and ban me from Amogus! talking to their child ever again. It starts raining. Then Pac-Man, who has not been a character in this story at all up until this point, shows up and tells me to be true to myself. Okay. Yeah, I thank you, Pac-Man. Thank you, Pac-Man. Suddenly, Pac-Man has been kidnapped by evil Namco High. I don't even know where the story is going. Evil anymore. Namco yeah, High? What the hell? We team up and beat everyone up, I think. Like, all the students and teachers. We rescue Pac-Man. Yay! The end. The end. I'll be honest. That one was a bit... I, I think it lost me there. You'd think a game where you can date Galaga Ship would have a clearer story. After all the dating simulators... This is crazy. Through, I think... I feel weird. Were they all fun? Yeah, I'd say so. But... You're not yeah, even gonna go into Doki Doki? Ones. I, I guess I got what I asked for. Either way, it was a nice experience i believe i understand mm -hmm. the appeal of dating simulators it is unfortunate i didn't end up finding my perfect virtual relationship but hey there's plenty of ones and zeros in the sea but yeah i do not think you're I right be casting my line again anytime soon however i could go for another bank robbery yeah surprise we've been working with terraria to do a collab on some merch stuff and it's here. Look at this awesome Jaden Lunata culture. Whoa, shop. nice. Dude, it's so sick. You can find it on the Terraria shop, which is just terraria.shop. We're working on some Christmas merch for my That's own cool. store, so keep an eye out for that. And if this video goes up on the day it should be, which is November 14th, I'm on tour. Scribble Showdown is on the road, and the gang and I should be having a great time making people laugh with our silly little drawings. All right, see mm. you later. Also, dating games, am I right? Yeah, dating games. <laughs> Anyways, guys, go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Jaden. Make sure like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video. There, guys. Thanks for watching. And deuces.